Okay, so this will be a quick video on uh, how to reset the memory and check the cables of the fans. Uh, in this case, we will do it for a Dell 7010 Optiplex small frame, as you can see here on the model. But uh, the video really applies to most of Dell machines, such as the 3020, 3010, 7020, 9020, etc. Now, uh, first thing we want to do, we want to have the machine without cables on the back. So as you can see, it's free and we want to have the machine sitting horizontally on our table. Next, uh, of course, there are two ways to put the machine. One is like this, the other one will be like this. Uh, we want it to be this way because there's a cover here. It looks like the door of a car and it's very simple to open. You just need to pull this and then pull the case towards the left and upwards. You can leave it on the side for now. And now in here we have the DVD and the um, CPU um, fan and heatsink and the power supply. So um, first thing we want to do is uh, we want to remove the DVD. It's uh, in our way to receive the RAM. So there are two things we can do. The first, we can disconnect the DVD just by pulling these two cables here. They won't break, don't be afraid to pull them. Just be gentle, okay? And they eventually will come out. You can try with one first. Maybe this one will be easier. This is a SATA cable or serial cable. And this is the power cable. So once you have removed one, you can grab the other one from the head and it might be just a bit easier. Sometimes it's really like stuck in there, but again, as, as you just pull it out, it will just come out, not a problem. Next, uh, you want to push this upwards and then slide it just like this, just like that. And then you can just leave it on the side. Okay, um, the next thing is the hard drive. So for the hard drive, uh, first you just need to uh, see the lock here, the blue lock, and then just with your finger, push it to the unlock position as the icon can indicate here. Once that has been done, you will be able to freely move this uh, back and forth. But then before you remove it, you need to disconnect the hard drive. So same thing as the DVD, you're gonna pull the cables one after the other, just like this. Again, don't be afraid to exert a little bit of force, but just don't too much. Don't break the cables, of course. And uh, you can just remove the whole cage outside. And here we have the memories, the RAM memories. And again, as I said, um, a CPU, the CPU fan. So to reset the memories, or let's say retest the memories, first thing we have to do is to remove all of them. How do we do that? We just, with both hands, release the switches that are holding them. And as you can see, they will come out automatically. And then you can just grab them. Uh, be careful with them because they are very uh, sensitive. So it's a good idea to uh, touch wood first or do it like on a hard surface, not on like a, um, a, a surface that can have electrostatic, right? And then uh, you want to test one by one. So let's select this one, for instance. And the proper way to install it, um, you will see a notch here that divides the memory into two and it's uh, more aligned to one side rather than the other. Same goes for the uh, slot here, right? So just make sure that they align properly. Like in this case, if I if I do it the other way, the RAM won't go in, as you can see, there's, there's no way for it to go in. So just make sure you're aligning them properly and inserting them on the slot. And then with both hands, you're gonna press until you hear that click. And as you see the switches, are holding the RAM by themselves automatically. Um, an incorrect way to do it will be if you just um, sort of place the RAM there and then close the switches yourself. If, if you're doing that, uh, you're not really inserting the RAM into the slot and the computer won't be able to recognize the RAM properly. Now, once you have done this, um, you can just put the hard drive back in so uh, you just need to align these two notches with the spaces that are here, uh, just like this, as you can see. Just align both of them so the uh, holes um, fit into the uh, notches and then just let it go a little bit down. And uh, of course you can remove all the cables that are on the way. So it can actually go down like this, see? And then you can just lock it. But first, before you lock it, of course, you need to connect it. So you will grab the power cable. As you can see, it has an L shape, or like a notch, and it should align with the hard drive here. It has the same shape. 
just uh, make sure you are um, fitting them properly like a puzzle and then just connect the cables so first the power cable and then the serial cable same thing it is the same it's just a little bit smaller but it has the same shape so just again make sure that they are aligned properly and just insert them make sure the connection is reliable that it doesn't really uh, move around okay and then you can just again as i said push it a little bit uh, down and lock it okay uh, now once you have done this uh, you're free to connect the machine back to the monitor there's no need to close it because you might need to troubleshoot again with another run if this doesn't work uh, so the way to do it of course first uh, your VGA cable which uh, will go to the back of the machine okay and um, you just connect it uh, of course in here um, in, in the in the back and make sure the again the connection is reliable uh, it's stable you can also close the uh, the screws just to make sure it stays there and then of course your keyboard and mouse both with usb connectors very simple to connect just make sure you're fitting them properly of course this uh, sample machine is not in the, in the best condition um, but yours will be much nicer for sure and it will be easier to connect and uh, finally the power cable okay the power cable goes into the power supply right here and just like this and of course make sure the connection is reliable and uh, then you can just test uh, the machine by uh, turning the machine on in this case uh, I won't do it because I'm not quite sure if the RAM is good or not uh, but that's exactly what you will do you will just press the power button and uh, see if the machine works see if you get an image of the monitor uh, in this case I think yeah you see the machine will work it's actually working so if this is the case then you know that that ram stick is good and then the machine is also good okay and you can repeat the process uh, you can disconnect the uh, power cable the um there's there's no need to actually disconnect these two just the power cable so you're safe and then again touch the table it's a good idea to do so you can uh, release the hard drive again just by again removing or let's say sliding the lock to the unlock position lift it a little bit disconnect uh, the cables so you're able to get it out of the way and now that you know that this one works you can just add the next one and same thing you just need to make sure they are uh, it is aligned properly with the notch and the hole in here and uh, of course make sure that you're pressing it and it's locking by itself and you will just do the same thing you will just uh, put the hard drive back in connect it and uh, just put the uh, power cable back on uh, test the machine if it's working if it doesn't work then that means this module will be bad if it does work it means this module is also good and then you can keep going with the other two until you find which of the uh, modules is the one that is uh, faulty now for the the last part for the uh, fan the cpu fan just make sure that when you are putting the hard drive cage this cable is actually uh, free and it's not being pushed towards this side because if this is the case if the cable actually is like this it is being um a pull too much with too much pressure and then it will make the fan to make a noise so just make sure that uh the cable is uh, like like this on, on this place and that when you are indeed um uh, putting back the uh the hard drive cage connecting the hard drive first of course and then putting it back in you're not exerting uh too much pressure on the on the cable which is uh, key for the uh, fan to work if the cable again uh, is under too much pressure it will make a noise so as you can see the cable here is still loose i can move it freely it's not really exerting pressure so that's how you know it's good if you see the cable is like this and you're not really able to move it and you can feel the tension on the cable then uh, what you have to do is just to uh, lift the cage a little bit and then put the cable back in place and then put it back again and lock it and this is how it should be another thing you can do uh, if the fan is running really loud um, will be to disconnect the, the cable that goes to the fan as you can see you can see right away that it's this cable it's just one cable there's there's a notch here in this side that you can just press or hold 
and then lift the cable, okay? So that's how you will uh, disconnect the uh, cable. You can use your nails. Um, it's this one right here. So you just need to press it and then lift the cable. This one right here. So it's, it's easier if you just use your nails or maybe a screwdriver. And then you can connect it back again. Just make sure uh, that you're aligning the pins correctly with the holes. As you can see, there are pins here, okay? So just make sure it is align aligned properly. Don't insert it like this. Again, it won't fit. And uh, if you just try to force it, it will break. Um, just make sure the notch is in the right place with the connector. Slide it back in, make sure it goes all the way down. And uh, again, put the hard drive cage again and retest again. start okay so uh, once you have tested all the uh, the RAM modules and you know which ones are good which ones are bad um, you can you can close and reassemble the machine we have already put the hard drive uh, back inside um, and the cage as well and the last part uh, will be just to connect the DVD very simple as well remember the cables you unplug at the beginning it will be just the power cable and the uh, serial cable and then a good idea is to first uh, make the connections. As you can see, they both have the same notch in an L shape, and they are just aligned. As long as they are aligned, they will just go inside really easy with just a little bit of pressure. Same, same for this one, as you can see, but yeah, same. It's just a little bit smaller, but it's the same thing. And then, yeah, you know that bo both are connected properly when you don't see any part of the, uh, the pins or the connectors but just the two cables align. And then the next the next step would be um, just by twisting it a little bit, doesn't have to be too much. You can just place it here, okay? And just make sure it's sort of aligned um, in here and then just slide it until you hear that click. Once you hear that click, the DVD is good to go. As you can see, it won't go, it won't fall back. Even if you press it here, it will remain in that position. If it didn't work, um, you can try it again. Okay, so again, to uh, release it, you just need to uh, hold in the in the blue uh, button here uh, upwards and then just uh, sort of slide it. And then again, uh, one more time, uh, you just twist it, align it with the case, right? And then just slide it until you hear that click. And then that way, you know, it's good. And finally, for the case, as you can see, it has uh, four notches in here, right? And the case here has four holes. So uh, the proper way to install it is at a 45, 45 degree angle. Just uh, make sure you align the notches with the holes like this. And then, so yeah, as you can see, just, you know, make sure they align properly. And then just sort of close it and make pressure here until you hear that click and then uh, the computer is uh, good to go. And again, uh, there is no need to remove the keyboard, the mouse or the monitor, just the power cable. The, the only thing we don't want on the computer when we're working on it is electricity going around, okay? So yeah, uh, that will be it.